Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. Let's continue on in the grade three Discovering Music Theory workbook, moving on to page 43 continuing with the topic of tonic triads. And so in exercise two, we're asked to name which key represents each of these tonic triads. And the clue is in the title, tonic being the first degree of the scale. And so here, the first degree of the scale at the bottom of this triad is F sharp. And so it must be F sharp something. And so we then just need to decide if it's major or minor. And so our option here, we only have F sharp minor, that's our answer. But let's just think about this. F sharp minor is related to A major, which has a key signature of F, C, G sharps. And so that explains the F sharp and the C sharp properly representing the key in this tonic triad. And so here... We can see we're in the treble clef, our tonic is E, so we just need to decide is it E major or E minor. And we know that E major has a key signature of F, C, G, D sharps, and so the G sharp here tells us that it's E major. E minor only has a key signature of F sharps, so there would be no place for that G sharp. And remember, that minor third is smaller, so E major is G sharp, E minor, minor means smaller, is G natural, so that's why it has to be the major, because it's got that major third, but the key signature does all of that thinking for you, and so we know that it's E major because of the G sharp. Now here we have... In the treble clef, every good boy deserves football F, G, A, B. That's a B, that's our tonic. And we have B, D, F sharp. We know that B minor, which is our correct answer here because there's our tonic. We know that B minor has a key signature of F sharps and C sharps. It's related to D major. And that is why we need this F sharp here. And so perhaps now you can just finish this exercise and then pop back into the video and we'll check these through together. Do have a go on your own. And so let's check through these final questions and exercise two together. So here we're in the bass clef now, that's middle C. So we have a C which is sharpened, so that's our tonic, it's got to be C sharp something. And so we can see it's gonna to have to be C sharp minor, but let's just follow the thinking through. C sharp minor has a key signature of F, C, G, D sharps. It's related to E major, but there's our tonic. We have to be C sharp minor, and then that will explain the C sharp, E, G sharp of the key signature. Now then here, back into the treble clef, let's find out what our tonic is. So that's E. D, C, there's our middle C, B, A, G, our tonic is a G, so it's got to be G something, and G major has F sharps only, that wouldn't explain the B flat, but we know that G minor has a key signature of B flats and E flats, and so that will explain the B flat, it has to be G minor because it's the only one that has the tonic G, but if we had to decide between major or minor, the B flat would tell us that it's the minor. And then here in the bass clef, we have a tonic of A flat. And so it's got to be A flat major because although it shares the same key signature as F minor, our tonic here is A flat. So it has to be A flat major. And then A flat major, just to double check all the thinking through, 
even though we just answered this, the key signature is B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, and that will explain the A flat and the E flat represented from the key signature. And so in exercise three, we have a similar thought process. However, the triads are given to us, the key is given to us, we've just got to make it correct by adding any necessary accidentals. And so we need to bear in mind what the key signature would be and then apply any part of that key signature to a note that would need to be changed according to that key signature. And so this is where if you've done your list of scales, if you've written out your major and minor key signatures, the related keys, all of your thinking is done, I would get that down in one go straight away just from memory, get used to doing that from memory and then you're not going to have to keep dragging to mind all of that information. You've thought of it once and then you're not going to get stressed or make mistakes. And so we know that G minor is related to B flat major, which has a key signature of B flat and E flat. We're in the treble clef, that's a G, B, D, and so the B must be flattened in accordance with the key signature here. We know that E flat major has a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats. So we're in the treble clef, of course the tonic must be E flat, not E. E, G, and then the B flat is here. So that is now complete. And we know that D major has a key signature of F sharps and C sharps. So here's our tonic D, F, A, there's our triad. And so this F must be sharpened, otherwise it would be D minor, not D major. And so perhaps now you feel that you can just continue and finish exercise three on your own. So do press pause and then pop back into the video and we can check these through together. Once you've got your related major and minor keys to hand, all of the thinking is done really. The only thing you've got to watch out is that you're placing it next to the correct note, bearing in mind what clef you're in. But you know that the triad is going to have to be tonic third fifth so that will help you with your thinking also so i'm hoping that you've had a go with these so let's continue working through these and check these answers together now f minor is related to a flat major which has a key signature of b flats e flats a flats d flats here's our fac 135 and so the a must be flattened otherwise it would be the major f major if we just remember that F major, first, third, fifth, has A naturals because it's only got a key signature of B flats, which doesn't apply in any of the notes of the triad. And the middle note drops down in a minor triad, a semitone lower, because F, ma F minor is related to A flat major, which just nicely fits in with this little double check that it's the middle note of the triad lowered a semitone from the major to the minor and then we can confirm that F minor is related to A flat major and that will help us to remember our key signatures. So B minor is related to D major which has a key signature of F sharps and C sharps. So we're in the bass clef, that's middle C, this is the B, D, F and so the F must be sharpened at the top of the triad. C sharp minor is related to E major, which is F, C, G, D sharps. And so here's our tonic tract in the bass clef, C, E, G, all cows eat grass. And of course it needs to be C sharp because of the tonic and the key signature, of course, E and then G sharp. So we already know that B minor is related to D major, which has a key signature of F sharps and C sharps. B, D, F, we know that the F should be sharpened. We've done this before, it's just now in the treble clef, but we know that the tonic must be B and we can work it out from there. E flat major has a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats. And so this is our E flat, every good boy. So E flat, of course, it's not E, it's E flat major. And there's our 
key signature, E flats and E, G, B flats. That also needs flattening. And then F sharp minor is related to A major, which has F, C, G sharps. There's middle C, F, A, C. And of course it needs to be F sharp, not F. So there's our F, C, B, A, G, F, just counting backwards to double check. And then of course C sharp to properly apply the key signature where appropriate. And that's that page completed. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee. And for advert free lessons, you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.